All right, guys, we have a uh, walk around that I want to do just to show you what's been going on. It's been raining like nonstop for two, two and a half, three weeks, something like that. Uh, and today is actually a nice day. So I'm going to go out and do a little video of what's happened around the property. All right, so everything is really nice and green. Uh, we've got um, lots of flowers blooming. We got chard here, chard there. Uh, and this is, uh, I believe this is calendula. I'm, I'm not real sure. Um, we've got our lettuce is going to seed in uh, two different types of lettuce here, or three, yeah, two different types of lettuce. Our uh, bib lettuce here is, is not doing anything yet, but we're hoping that it'll go to seed too. It's already starting to bolt, starting to jump up there. We've got, uh, I believe this is going to be cabbage. We've got broccoli. We've already cut some of the broccoli off, so we're waiting for the new shoots to pop up. We've got onions, we've got strawberries. This is a uh, red cabbage. Uh, I believe this is gonna be regular cabbage, red cabbage. This is also broccoli. I believe, yeah, we got a little head of broccoli coming in right there. You can see we've got a lot of chard, rainbow chard. So, um, got some uh, volunteer tomatoes here. We didn't plant those, they just kind of popped up. Got some topping on bore in, in uh, pots that are buried in the ground. Lots of tomatoes, more broccoli. Oh, that broccoli's looking nice. Got another little broccoli head popping in there. We got kale, some more purple cabbage, red cabbage, more chard, more kale. Um, our tomatoes are, are coming in. That one here doesn't look so great, but um, we haven't really had a whole lot of tomatoes this year uh, because it's been so dry and then all of a sudden it starts raining so we it's looking good now so we've got some more brock uh, broccoli <laughs> we've got more strawberries new strawberry plants here broccoli plant that is you can see here we've got a bunch of little heads coming in I chopped out the top the other day to send send more to these uh, we've got a potato patch we've got some uh, kohlrabi that one's about ready to eat we've we've harvested a couple already that's another that's a volunteer toping on boar um, which is like a sunflower we've got some fennel here our raspberries have not been doing so well this year, but now with all the rain, we've got a lot of raspberries coming in. I mean, the plants are huge, and you can see here the bees are, are liking them. There's a nice little raspberry. Let's see what that one. Oh yeah, delicious. Got a couple of red ones there. So they're slowly maturing. The first part of the year were very few. So uh, we've got the, the current bushes here. This is a current, it's a current back there. This is a, uh, this is like a, a, what would you call it? It's like a, a, a muscadine uh, bush. Let's see what it's called here. It is called a uh, stackleberry, which is German for something. So uh, it's a it's a thorny bush. You can see some nice thorns on there. So then we've got more lettuce here. We've got a few carrots. We harvested a couple carrots just to see what they look like. Uh, this is going to be, um, I believe this is cabbage. 
this might just be a leafy green, but we're, uh, it's coming in. I don't know what my wife planted here, but this is uh, just regular iceberg lettuce. We had uh, three or four in here. We pulled a couple out and I don't know what we've got here that's uh, volunteering, but we've been uh, neglecting it for the last like three weeks because it's just been raining. You can see the uh, squash plant is uh, completely covered in powdery mildew. We've got some, we've got something growing here. I don't know what she has put here or if this is a volunteer plant. I think, I'm, I think that's a, I think that's a volunteer. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, this is a bean, beans here, more tomatoes, uh, more, uh, this is uh, uh, zucchini squash. Both of these are zucchinis. We got some onions. Some onions that have flowered and have gone to seed. The, we've got, I think this is actually two tomato plants. These were volunteer plants. Um, got two more tomatoes here and some lavender. So this is one we planted last year. It's just a, a vine that flowers and uh, it has really taken off. It didn't do anything last year and now it's looking really nice. So go on to the back here. This is some new, some new stuff we've done. This is the herb garden. So you can see that is doing really well. We've got uh, sage lemon balm, peppermint, uh, some, some lettuces, parsley, and I'm not sure what else is in here. I think there might be some basil. Um, then we have the uh, strawberry patch here. This is two or three different types of strawberry. We had a few strawberries earlier this year, but it hadn't done so good just because it was so dry and now that it's been uh, raining a lot we did get some blooms and actually we do have a couple strawberries here that are look like they're about ready actually i think i'm going to have one of those right now oh yeah really good so we got the fish pond is is useful we've got um i think six six trout in this big pond and i think we've got like 10 or 11 in the small pond there i don't know if you can see those i'll get down there in a minute we've got uh more uh squash pumpkin zucchini i'm not sure what these are we've got tomatoes Blueberries, blueberries, more tomatoes. Ooh, there's some ripe tomatoes. That's a nice one there. Yeah, you can see how they've split open because of all the rain. It's just too much water. Hopefully they'll... Oh, that one's okay. Yeah, that one looks good. Now, delicious. Nothing like ripe fruit. Got the blackberry bush here. We've had a few blackberries from it, but when we go down here, we've got some squash, zucchini. Not sure what all she did down here, but we put out the clover and you can see the clover has gone crazy kind of taken over so there's the stuff that we've put in we've mound it up and put those in and you can see the the terracing has been covered in plants and flowers we threw out a bunch of wildflowers and now a lot of that stuff is starting to bloom
We had uh, lots of wild uh, poppies pop up, and that's what these are. And I'm sure these 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 seed pods are like they're full of seeds. So we're probably going to have see all those seeds, those little tiny things. So these are these are wild, and I think they're only annual. They don't they they'll reseed and just come back next year. There you can get a good shot of the fish we have, and these are probably close to a pound, between three quarters of a pound and a pound per fish. And um, so those are doing really well. We've got the apple tree is producing nicely. We've got a couple that are already turning pink and hopefully those will, will ripen up on us really soon. Um, here we're planning on doing a greenhouse I've marked off the area with this piping just to, I got my, this, this pipe is facing south or no. Yeah. This, this pipe faces directly south. So, um, and this, this is the north, the, will be the north wall and we want it to go up onto the, the hill. And so out here will be the planting area. We'll have a, a water catchment from the drain from the house and uh, that will help water the plants. The trees are doing really well. We, uh, we started the mulch. We got like uh, three, I think this is tree, three trailer fulls of mulch. And we still need to do probably three more to get this, uh, get these covered. This is the uh, almond tree that in an earlier video you saw blooming inside the house. Uh, we have cherry, uh, plum, and a pear. That's the pear tree. There's the plum, and this is the cherry. We had a few cherries this year, but cherries have not been prominent in any of the cherry trees. The neighbor has a cherry tree, and that thing hasn't produced anything this year. We had like three or four on here earlier, but uh, this is looking well. You can see here some of the some of the flowers that have popped up from our wild wildflower seeds. Um, we picked up a load of wood. This is a uh, four stir. Um, I didn't split it, so I'm probably going to regret that later in the season if I need to burn that. That's uh, that might be a little difficult to split. So now that it's uh, kind of dried out for mostly the summer. Um, we have a bucket of topin on bore here that was just left over from last year and so it is sprouting up. This is our old compost and you can see we've got some volunteer tomatoes in there and uh, some other other wild plants. Look at this. Look at this crazy thing here. I don't know what this thing is. Um, and then we have the compost bins, this is new compost bins that I built earlier this year. And I need to come out here and dump some more compost and, and get some grass layered onto there. Um, we have this old apple tree here has, has some apples that are, uh, this, this tree doesn't produce a lot, but um, we trimmed it back last year. So hopefully we'll get a few more apples this year. We'll see. I want to trim it back again. You can see there's a bunch of them on the ground here. Um, so, let's see, yeah, they're already been eaten, eaten on. So, yeah. So yeah, we still have a few, few in, in process here that uh, starting to ripen. Yeah, so uh, hopefully this will produce a few apples. So well, that's pretty much it. Um, you can see I haven't had to mow the yard this year. It's just basically been growing and uh, producing flowers and wild plants. And uh, we, it looks a lot nicer, a lot more natural, and is uh, 
a lot prettier than just having a lawn of of grass and we're actually hoping that the you can see here the clover that we threw out it's uh it's actually popping up and that gives the the um, the bees a little something to eat on but yeah this is nice here we this was a an area where i really threw out a lot of the wildflowers so you can see those are looking really good oh wow that's really pretty flowers look at that one all right well i believe that's it for the walk around you can kind of see what's going on and uh hopefully we'll have uh more updates later in the year just to see like as things bloom and this this weather has kind of moved out i think we're going to have a whole week of warm weather and so hopefully we'll see a lot of tomatoes and things turn into nice fruit um i was able to pick up these used uh stones this is going to be part of the part of the uh the landing area up here picked up a couple of garage doors for free i think those are going to end up being part of a greenhouse wind blowing the one so this was the topine on board these were the ones that actually actually flowered and they've already lost most of their seeds so we're probably going to see some more toping on board from that all right well i believe that's it thanks for tuning in and uh maybe we'll have another update real soon thanks for watching